my bubbling cauldron of dislike for all things Apple, erupted into a raging volcano of hatred last week. I was so angry, I would have, if I could have, buried every Apple product under a mountain of volcanic ash and molten lava. What should have been a two-hour project took seven because the iPad containing a video I needed to edit refused to communicate with my Windows laptop. I saw it literally turn up its perky little Apple nose and then heard it sniff in disdain before holding up its palm in a teenager's talk to the hand move. Well, that brought home the lessons of Psalm 2 in a new way for us to explore today on Saturdays in the Psalms here on Morning Minutes in the Bible. First is how the impotence of my rage at Apple mirrors the impotence of man's rage against God. Psalm 2 begins with, Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. Verses 1 through 3. I have zip, zero, not a power against Apple. My rage is meaningless to them. But have we forgotten that the nations of this world have even less power against God? We must because we pretend they do. We worry and fret about America as if it is the kingdom of God on earth and its failures as a nation will stop God's work. It is not and it cannot. Verse 5 says, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. Judah couldn't stop Jesus 2,000 years ago. America can't today. As a Christian, this should bring great relief because nothing America does or any nation for that matter, can thwart God's purpose. The question for us is, why do we worry about their rage? The second lesson is God's disdain and ultimate damnation for those plotting against him and his son. Psalm 2, 4 says, He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. In the past, Apple users have mocked my expressed opinions. In a far more serious way, God's reaction to man's rage and opposition is sad amusement. Amusement at our vanity, sorrow over our futile rebellion. Unlike Apple, God has the right to command our submission and our refusal leads to destruction. Psalm 2 ends with, Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. That's verses 10 through 12. Thankfully, God adds one final thought of hope at the end of verse 12. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Never forget, no earthly nation is our refuge. No earthly nation is the source of our ultimate blessings. If you want refuge from the storms of life, turn to God and kiss the sun. That's where our blessings and refuge are found. Thank you for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.